hi welcome back to another video uh, we're gonna do some swatching in a second but first of all we will do um, the shout outs um, I'd like to give a huge shout out to somebody who has just started their channel which is unpolished with Aggie I will put her picture up here um, please pop over to her because she's just started her channel in the last few days and she's doing so well with it so onwards and upwards for her um, also I'd like to give a shout out to not a beauty queen 06 which is Faye I will leave her picture up here she is a stamping queen without a doubt first and foremost she can stamp anything and if you're having problems with stamping go to her <laughs> that is all I'm gonna say about Faye <laughs> She is absolutely lovely as well. So yeah, go over and give us some support and like, share and subscribe to her if possible, please. Right, today we have got some Team Gorgeous colours. I haven't bought any for a while, so I'm trying to build up my collection. I've got about 35, I think, at last count. So I've bought seven there and I've also sent a couple to um, Les, which hopefully should be there by Monday I've, I've never tried their clear because my core powder has always been glitter bells and monomer so I always use their clear at the bottom of the nail and at the top so I thought I would actually give their clear a go and see what what it's like even as I haven't tried it obviously the clears come in a larger size which is a 45 gram I think this one was nine I think it's about nine pound fifty so I'm not going to swatch that one obviously right what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you them and swatch them at the same time instead of showing you all of them then swatching them right this one is Ron yes as in Ron <laughs> very strange name I don't know why now I did use this yesterday did I use it? I think no, I swatched it for my mum actually. It is absolutely full and it just spills everywhere. Um, yeah, because I went to do mum's nails yesterday and I swatched it for her to show her and I couldn't get the lid back on. It's one of those lids again. What is really pissing me off? I hate to say it. I've tried everything, even from you know, sweeping out all the channels in the, the screw on bit. And it took Richard to put it on and he had to force it on. He did. That's how bad it was. Ooh, let me move that hair off that pad. I don't want that stuck to my brush. Yes, I had the same problem with one of the other um, colours that I had. This is absolutely packed solid with glitter. It was a pain in the bum. Wow, look at all that glitter. Man, that's Right, this is obviously a sort of a clear background, but it's got a lot of like pinky purples in there. these so irritating that I can't right I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm actually gonna turn that over because I don't want any of that right what have we got next we have got granddad's Parisian pink oh, that is bright I don't usually go for bright colors so I'm not quite sure why I ordered it Definitely a um a summer colour. For sure. Let's put a bit more on. That's 
bright. Wowie. That's like really bright, bright. But there's absolutely no marbling in that whatsoever, which makes a change. But not that any of them, their their colours marble. I mean, like some some other companies do. Smooth jade. Ooh, I like. It's got a little bit of glitter in it. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I really like this. Oh, I so wish I could wear it. It's so not fair. That is lovely. Green glitter in it, like fine cut glitter. That's so nice. I don't know if it's helping showing you on my black glove or not, or whether I should show you that one. That is lovely. That's such a nice colour lid. Next, that is La Bonita. Who sang that? Madonna back in the 80s I reckon see long term memory is not a problem it's just bloody short term memory what's a fault I am using funky monomat by the way it is my glitter come swatch monomat which is ugly as hell it has so much crap in it I'm afraid because I don't actually use my swatch sticks. I'm really naughty. When I've done the swatches, I literally, after I've showed you, just chuck them in a pot and then just leave them. When I go to choose a colour, I um, just look at the, just look at the pot, the colour of the pot, and that's it. That's quite nice. It's um, sort of like a minty green, but if I show you next to that one, it's, might help if I'm in shot you can see it's a lot bluer but it's such a nice colour I don't know what colour I'd call it like a sea green oh look I've got a gigantic bubble <laughs> <laughs> that don't happen very often I should have given it a bit more of a swish round and a, a pat, pat down but I didn't oh well there you go that's me all over that's a nice one we like that one right next up when doves cry we all know who sang that one right this one i put on my mum yesterday and i will leave a picture of it at the end it's lovely it's got like small pieces of mylar in it what I chop, chopped up like micro mylar I would call it it is um, a nice lilac colour We've got no bubbles in it this time. Right. It actually looks darker in screen than what it actually is. It's a really nice light lilac colour and in it, I hope you can see, there is bits of like micro mylar. All roughly chopped up. It's lovely. I actually put on top of it yesterday ooh, and I've knocked everything over because I wanted a bit of sparkle and jazz I actually put that one over it which is I think this was the one what Les sent me which is like a purple but it's like iridescent 
it's like the mylar type stuff but I put that over the top and it looked really nice because it was showing the right and same colours as what's in that so that is a good choice that one where's the lid you're there that's that one right wisteria this is a, another sort of lilac -y colour A lot lighter though. God, I've got some my old air bubbles going on, and I. There it is. It's just correct. brush now right that looks as though it's marbling a little bit actually which I'm very surprised about because I don't normally have any problem with their colors might need a good shake up perhaps I haven't shook it I would say that's probably why but I don't mind it's a nice color it's a lot lighter than the other one I put them together I tried to sort of choose colours what would go together, so you know, got three there straight away what will quite easily go in a set. But that is a wisteria. Yeah, you can see it's marbled that side as well. It's not a lot, but annoying, yes. I'll have to give it a, a good shake and try it again. Right, mulberry cream. I'm not quite sure why I had this one, but it must be a blue shade. From the outside, it looks grey. Right. Yeah, it's like a dark blue. Really dark. see it against my glove if I do that and it looks darker on the screen than what it is it's like a denim blue with a shimmer running through it which is really nice I quite like that it's different to glitter bells um, blue velvet though that's a nice color I like that one right I will take some photos to leave at the end I will and can show you them all now and pick them up can't believe I've made an air bubble in that one right nice colours. I'm quite I'm all right with those. Well chosen. Right, I'm gonna take some photos to leave at the end and I will see you in your next one. Don't forget to check out those ladies. Okay. Bye.